During a snowy five-hour closure in Colorado's Glenwood Canyon, bluegrass band Elk Range gave an impromptu performance that turned the situation into an unforgettable dance party on the mountain highway. The captured video went viral worldwide. We looked on our phones and realized we were going to be there for hours. And, and it's dumping snow and blowing and it's cold and it's miserable and there's snow on the highway. And, but we're in this beautiful canyon, one of the most spectacular parts of Colorado by far. And Betty's like, why don't you guys grab your instruments and we'll just play on the highway for some people. <laughs> We've had people, you know, I guess the car directly next to us, they were from Australia and they said that it like, it made their daughter's whole holiday. She was just a young girl. We got a cartwheel. She's, yeah, she's out there cartwheeling behind us and dancing and, you know, and yeah, Australia. And we've got, we, we've been contacted by people from Hawaii who were stuck in the traffic. We uh, got, well, oh, I think well over 3 million views and we were we tried to respond best we could to all the comments and there were thousands of them and there was this one woman Ken can take it from from here this is a sweet story yeah um, um she of sent connection. she sent us a message and she said I know exactly where you were held up um I was in uh, I was in a traffic stop shortly after you were in it. Uh, we had the most closures uh, of any year in almost recorded history in, in the canyon we were in. And she said, my husband was a musician and, and he's been gone for a while, but I happened to have his ashes in the car. And I stopped and we listened to your performance and I dumped his ashes here on the side of the highway. And, and your performance meant so much to me because I was able to be with him there. I mean, music just connects the spirit and the human form, connects pain and joy. It's, it, you know, it just negates all the, the intensity and levels everything out so that we're all, we all kind of dissolve into one breath and one consciousness. It, it took me most of my life to realize that music was something that I dreamed of doing and that I really wanted to do and that it was, you know, s something that brings me utter joy that I can share with people. It's an honor to be able to do that. Not everyone gets to have that opportunity, not only to, to live part of their dreams, but also to share something with people that's, you know, so intrinsically a part of who you are. You know, it's, it's our DNA. All four musicians migrated from different American cities and now reside in Colorado and found a creative musical connection with each other. To find people that really understand you um, to, on any level is, is really incredible. And then to find, you know, three other people who, who really understand what you're trying to convey in your songs or, uh, you know, whatever your skill level is, or, you know, they build you up and they really feed, they really feed you into the better part of yourself. What, what's interesting is, um, I could probably speak for everybody and say that we have very different influences in um, who we listen to the most, you know, like, I mean, you, you're very traditional, bluesy, you, you like your country music, you like your country music. I'm the, I'm the hippie one that likes all the jammy stuff, and, but somehow we get together and, uh, and make it our own brand. The type of music that we play in the, in the music community that we're, that we're in is it's really family based, you know, acoustic instruments and, and this, you know, the, the roots of this music is it's hundreds of years old, it, you know, it's it's Hills music, the blues has influenced my music a lot, of course, growing up in St. Louis, you know, that music is old. It, it's it's a purely American art form and and there's, you know, so many other genres of music are, are worldly, but blues is American, you know, bluegrass is American and it's lending itself from from all of these other traditions, but really it's a sense of belonging and and it's a community and it's a really tight knit community, you know? And I think at the end of the day, I want people to feel something. When we play live, we play yeah. with each other, for each other, but then for that, I think that higher awareness that whoever, like Ken was saying, whoever taps in to um, what our personal 
experience of these songs are get something out of it. And it doesn't necessarily matter what it is, as long as it's something. And so to be that catalyst for each other and for others is, um, it will always be, no matter what position we're in, if we have instruments, we're playing. Thank you.